today I'm going to uh, wino wrap the hood area of the 2019 uh, sprint event and um, I just finished washing the surface with soap and then um, further clean it with 73% alcohol and so the surface is all prepped and, uh, including the surface and the, um, and the edge inside and um, so I'm ready to uh, put some masking tapes and um, get it ready. Okay, now I finish masking where I want the uh, lino wrap um, to lay and, um, and a masking tape so I know where to put the, um, the uh, ni knifeless um, 3M tapes. That's the green one over here and later on I can just peel off uh, the area that I don't want it to be masked or wrapped and this is the edge of the, um, the wrap and I'll lap a corner over here so the uh, vinyl which sits on the corner uh, won't be easily peeled off now I have all the uh, masking tape removed only leave the um, knifeless knife um, tips on it and I'm gonna lay the uh, vinyl right on top of it and um, this is the first time I do any sort of wrapping and um, and hopefully uh, for this will work so this is the wrap that I'm gonna use so it's a matte black from Vivid and um, got it from Amazon and it's 6 feet by uh, 5 feet long. So right off the bat I run into a little problem here and uh, so if I were to um, have it wrapped over this corner to have a little bit over to that um, tips over there and the uh, 6 feet long sheet just a couple i think three inches shy right over there so um i either have to split in the middle because i i do have a split in the uh, in the design uh, maybe cut that or um cover less of it so um i just need to figure a little bit out so this is the part that's going to be exposed uh, with the original paint so I'm just going to fold the sheets, cut it right there, and then start the other panel from here. Again, this is going to make the uh, wrapping probably a little bit harder, but I don't think I have a choice here. And, uh, I would much rather the, um, the wrapper go around, this, go around this corner right there. So now it's cut, and you can see the gap over there. And, um, and now it's long enough to cover this. Now I get my heat guns ready. And uh, I'm going to do the larger side first. And uh, I haven't peeled off the backings yet. But I'm going to start peeling off from there. And uh, towards that direction. And then uh, I'm going to um, glue it down from the middle first. And then um, stretch and glass over. Um, towards that direction. Hopefully it works. Okay, after quite a bit of struggle to get one side on. This is not easy. But I guess that's what you get for the first time. And I do have created some bubbles here. But um, I think I'm just gonna live with it. And um, some little bubbles over there and um, some scratches from the, um, from the felt tip smoother, whatever they call. That's okay. It's a truck. Okay, now we everything trimmed away. Lines. 
All right, so now I put this middle strip on and um, peeled it off and then I laid this block on. And uh, like you say, it's a lot easier the second half. And now it's all covered and all I have to do now is just trim the uh, skirts and, uh, and peel those and uh, cut that piece out and it'll be done. Yay! So now all the uh, excess is cut away. Now it's completely done.